Hi guys, this is Skid Flash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound Blind. In the last part, I honestly have no idea what we did, because, like, really, I don't, I honestly, like, what, what did we do even? Oh, wait, you know what, you know what I wanted to do? You know what I wanted to do before that? I wanted to see what Ness is, I wanted to, to sh I wanted Pooh to show me his moves. So, I know what these two do. Life up, healing, simple enough. Shield, protects everybody, and then protects them. Cuts, protects one person from a shield of power, cuffs damage in half, and some of the, okay, like a reflective shield. Okay, so simple enough. And then what else? Teleport allows you to immediately return to a place where you've already been. You need to get a running start to approach this work. You don't need a running start. It also called the tornado teleport. Okay. So, apparently PSI beta, I mean teleport beta is just like, you know, you don't have to have a thing. So we want to go to foreside, because... That's cool looking. What's going on? What's going on? Whoa. Um, we want to go to the forest side, because I think in the last part, I honestly don't remember what we did. I remember, like, there's some story about hy hieroglyphs. All I remember is last time that, like, the guy, the Mr. Spoon called, and he wanted, like, you know, us to come over. I don't even remember what, like... The only reason, and the only reason I remember that is because <laughs> I had to, like, rewatch the, like, voice recording. I haven't watched the entire thing, just that add-on I put... It's this exact same person. Get over here! Yeah, sure, why not? That other museum was much less expensive. So, what does Mr. Spoon want? Right? You're Mr. Spoon, right? I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings even discover them. I want to see the live, di live dinosaur sometime in my life. Well, that's very good for you. Um, and I think you're the guy, right? You sound competent. Do you want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Tupola Theater. Could you bring her autograph on an eraser? Interesting. Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her art if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. Okay, so we need the autograph of but we do need an eraser, don't we, to like erase the eraser statue, so things are coming together. The Tapola Theater, that's where, um... Isn't that where the Runaway... not the... the run yeah, that, that was right the first time. Isn't that where the Runaway 5 was? Where exactly was that? So, more morons. What's up with you guys? I thought I was about to get a new microphone. Like, but apparently... Well, for one thing, the microphone... Oh, jeez. For one thing, the microphone was only Mac only, which is surprising. There isn't that much stuff that's just Mac only. Usually it's like, you know, PC only. But on the other, <laughs> then I tried it on the Mac and it wasn't even that good, so it doesn't matter. That story was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. And there's the cafe. Wait, isn't the Tapola Theater like right in the entrance? I remember that being why it screwed me over so much, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So again, fast forwarding. Sorry about this guys, I really hate the noise. It makes the annoyingness. Not as bad as my shrilly voice, though, right? Or something? I don't know. And door. Door. I really should have closed the door before I started this. That was a bad insight on my part. But whatever. So, oh god, we need to buy tickets manually, don't we? Damn it. Yes, I want to buy a ticket. 30 bucks, thanks a lot. Okay, cool, at least we have... God damn it. <laughs> Why is this so tedious? Show ticket. There we go. And it's hidden, too, just to screw with us. Please hurry, the show will be starting at any moment. So who could possibly be singing? I'm so curious. Into the Polo Theater. Lights dim down, and apparently it's all blonde people with blue eyes. Oh god, is it who I think it is? Don't make me... Okay, never mind. There's actually more words than the word baby. Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are stone cold gone for you. Ow! You're so cute, sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to... I don't know how this tune goes at all. Sing to me only. Baby Venus. So just sing so I can die of happy man. Ba oh, okay, wait, is this the crowd talking? Okay, never mind. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, Venus. <laughs> so anyway, it's all blonde people. I couldn't notice that. Maybe it's like, you know, Germany or something. I don't know. Couldn't make a, couldn't make a you know, history joke because I'm not that into his. No, I am into history. Just not that, not to much an extent. I'm more of a math, English sort of person than science. And almost every other sub subject other than history when I think about it. But that may just be because I'm doing incredibly bad in my in history class. And I think there's music going on, so I'm going to shut up and listen.
Okay. So it's that kind of music. Hooray. And some guy's coming up. He's gonna ask for an autograph, isn't he? Isn't that the whole reason I came here? Why can't he just do it himself, right? Isn't that the whole point? He's creeping up. And he just, like, you know, pee, um... I don't know. I don't know the word for it, actually. So, um... Yeah. What's up, guys? How far are we into this game? Again, don't answer that. Let's recap. We got Pooh. So our, par our party's finally assembled halfway into the game. That's one thing I don't like about a lot of RPGs, in my opinion. Like, in a lot of RPGs, like... And the reason I don't like that certain RPG is because, like... Things don't truly start, like, I hate it when RPGs, like, don't truly start until, like, midway through the game, and okay, that guy's getting, I'm gonna have to continue this story some other time, because that guy's getting creepy, okay, and the boss, Secret Service takes him out, but yeah, I don't like RPGs that, like, only start halfway into the game, kind of like, um, halfway into the game, because, like, you know, it's, I don't like it, it's kind of like, um, how in, um, Final Fantasy V, I've, I've, I played that recently, like, you don't really get jobs until, like, a big part into the game or something like that, I think. Then, like, a lot of the Final Fantasy games, like, you really don't get, like, the true thing until, like, halfway, like, a good a good amount into the game. So, I should, like, Espers? Espers, that's a good example. From Final Fantasy VI, you don't get Espers until, like, way, way, way into the game. And it's like, well, not that much into the game, but it's still, it's still annoying. It's like, man, why did, what, what took you so long? If this is a very, if, if this is a key factor in, like, the gameplay, then why didn't you introduce it from, like, at the very first beginning? It, that's kind of, like, how, that's kind of why I like, um, Final Fantasy Tactics a lot, because, like, you know, as soon as, right from the get-go, you have, like, the tools needed to get, like, the advanced class jobs, but, anyway, the thing's over, so, time to wander around more people. But they're not gonna say anything, because they're still, like, you know, such in a trance still yet. Ah, oh, you're the friend of the 105. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter, too. Though, I'm ad-libbing, apparently. <laughs> By adding one word at a time. Let's open these lockers. Appa apparently not. Oh, you want my autograph? <laughs> That's a horrible voice. Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Cool. You got autograph. Hooray. Sign banana. Oh, and as this bonus, smack. What? Okay, smack. Is there someone outside? Traveling. Oh, okay, never mind. Just the peoples. Random people from my school. I'm scared. <laughs> because nobody knows I'm Let's Playing, and that'd be incredibly embarrassing. Are they gonna rob my house? No, they're not why I'm being so stupid. But anyways, what I was saying, yeah. I think maybe one, one reason they make you show the ticket, which is, I guess, justifies it, is that maybe if you, like, because I think last time we got a key item in the Atola Theater, but, like, if we didn't, like, it, like, it's pretty much ensuring that you have a space to take a, in a key item, so I can see how that would be a problem. So we got the, <laughs> we got, um, the autograph, but isn't that, like, Mr. Spoon guy in jail for, like, attempted rape or something? I don't know. Yes, 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 pay, pay money, pay money, arch, blah, 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 blah. Okay, bones, bones, bones. Haven't been, nothing to say about bones, because I actually don't watch bones. But you, you want to know something about Extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the top of the theater. Could you get an autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something. Okay. We already answered it. Do I have to show him? Yes. Okay, fine. Who has it? Probably. Signed banana. <laughs> That's odd. You got it. The banana peel has the authentic Venus autograph? Yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise. I'll tell you something about extraordinary. To the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below a man the manhole. There, I found a huge monstrous rat. Oh, for the mine sanctuary, huh? I'm not telling. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you. I'll let you go there as soon as I, and check it out for yourself. Cool. And with the poo on her side, it won't be a problem at all. Except that it's an entire dungeon, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. Oh God. Am I even ready for this? How we, we're like halfway into the video. Um. Yeah, and there's two separate paths too. So what new enemies are here before us? Palette swaps. Goody goody. Because I've always wanted to attack palette swaps. It almost feels weird fighting with four people now because like there's so many like options. I had to play. I had I had to press A like four times or something, or it might be eight times if I had to press it twice. That was a lot of XP, or maybe it's not a lot a lot of XP anymore. But I, Pooh's gonna level up a lot because again he's still under leveled, so he's gonna catch up pretty quickly. Wow, brain shot. Wow, jeez. So I'm curious to see what Pooh is gonna turn out to be. Is he just gonna be like a mixed attacker or something? Oh god, these r bad guys? These mice look perfectly friendly. They look like the kind of peep deadly mice, okay, Oh, and they 
took fast things. Poisoned. That's lovely. And poisoned? Is it a third sure thing? Doesn't look like it, but, um... Oh, actually, something I want to check out is... PSI Rock and Gamma. I don't think I used that yet. 40 PP? Damn. I want to see this just rock the show. Better, for the money I'm paying. Healing, I might as well heal, Paula. I think P I think normal heal will actually do stuff, or whatever. And watch this not do any damage, because they're just, like, somehow immune to all this. Okay, what are you doing? Biting attack. That, that That's a lot of damage, actually. So let's just rock their socks. Oh, brighty lights. Cool, cool color. Oh, damn. Okay. So it did a... Cr that was a decent amount of damage. It's almost as much as... We're gonna mirror, see what happens. It was almost as much as, like, you know, um, that one move. <laughs> I don't even... Okay, cool. It's not mortal damage. Okay, Pooh turned into Deadly Mouse A, and what does that do exactly? Don't know, don't care. But that fight almost killed me. How much XP am I gonna get for that? Not that much, but Pooh still levels up. Whatever. And I think he only gained HP right there. So let's heal you all. Heal y'all. Because, you know, can't have you dying here, because apparently this is a dungeon. Kind of snuck up on me. I might have to even exit soon. Not really, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Broken iron, cool. So Jeff can have that for his little fix-it DIY experiments. So I used to do Rubik's Cubes, that reminds me. I used to be able to know, I used to know how to solve a Rub Rubik's Cube. I don't anymore, and it kind of sucks. Well, well, I, I'm sure I could relearn pretty fast, because, like, you know, it's all just just memorizing algorithms. But, um, what else, what do I want to say? You wanna, yeah, I don't even own a Rubik's Cube anymore, so I couldn't really do that. But I remember, like, back in the day, Rubik's Cube used to be, like, a big thing. That and Pogs. Does anyone remember Pogs? Like, those stack coin thingies? I, I was never really into Pogs, but I remember there was this, like, age in middle school where, like, Pogs was just the shit back... The bomb diggity. Because that word is... Because that word is actually acceptable to use now, since apparently other Let's players are doing it. I think, I'm not sure. But, you know, it's ju it justifies me saying it. So apparently that was a dead end, and all I got from that was... What did I get? A broken iron. Oh, yeah. Lovely. A broken island. By I iron. Iron. Because I'm going to be like my hero, Clement J642. Not really my hero, but, you know, a strong idol. Okay. And I think I'm going to ditch, cut cut my losses while I'm ahead or behind. Either one. I know where to go, at least. It's just, you know, the mat a matter of doing. So, yeah. This will... I'm ending stuff off soon. How is that a back attack? The east... Like, I hit him. I guess I was... I guess I was apparently still blinking. And it's like he doubles attack, double attacks. Like, I think that's what happened last time. I'm just gonna rock their world because, like, you know, just, just cause. I'll probably be cutting battles next part, too, seeing as how, you know, I'm pretty sure the only enemies here are rats and kakaro and pallet swap kakaroaches. Come on, at least, like, if, you're, if your backgrounds are just gonna be psychedelic, you might as well have, like, you know, different things. I don't know. But that's just a nitpick of mine. Did he learn anything? That was a pretty lackluster for what Pooh's doing. But he's getting a lot of, you know, level up, so I guess it doesn't matter. So we're in Foresight, back in Foresight. I don't even remember getting my Sanctuary in Foresight, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But there was, wasn't there also those crystals? Maybe that's the my Sanctuary. I wouldn't be surprised, actually. And we're gonna have to pay another, like, 40, 20 bucks to get back in there after. Where's the hotel? way over there so anyways i think i'm just gonna cut it off here in the next part we'll get more get more into that dungeon until then this has been skid flash hope you've enjoyed watching bye